hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course on udemy link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration I am going to choose 30 seconds and background color we are going to choose black color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I am going to create one ellipse and this time I don't want any fill and stroke color I am going to choose white color and stroke width over here let's choose 100 pixels for now and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this okay after doing that select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now if you see over here at the center of this ellipse there is small hole we don't want that so i'll select this and i'll try to increase the stroke width until unless is the stro the small gap over here is completely gone so i'll select this again let's make this 110 i mean 110 pixels like that now select the shape layer press s for scaling option create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and simply hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so if you see you will get this kind of stuff okay so this is one way to animate this graph otherwise you can select this and let's hit f9 again you can select those things by holding shift you can move one handle over here and you can move one handle over here so if you see this animation now you will get something like this okay then select this layer go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path let's go somewhere around 1.20 frames uh, over here go to the trim path create one keyframe and end go somewhere around three seconds maybe and let's make this end value zero select those keyframes and hit f9 okay so if you see this animation now first we will get this then we will get this okay let's select this uh, keyframe and let's move this to up to 1.10 frames i'm going to select this go to the graph editor i think this uh, kind of graph looks very normal so i'll select this and i'll hit f9 again uh, let's uh, try this one only it's totally up to you you can choose whatever you want i'm going to stick with this kind of graph like this okay and for this one over here i'll select this keyframes i'll hit f9 then i'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph i'll move one handle over here and i'll move one handle over here so if you see this now we will get this and we will get this okay now hit you select this go somewhere around over here select this and hit ctrl d and change the stroke width to black color i mean stroke color to black and we will reduce the stroke size somewhere around let's say 80 select this hit ctrl d change the stroke color to white and stroke width to 60 or let's say 50 like this select this hit ctrl d and change the uh, stroke color to black again and stroke width 25 select this hit ctrl d change the stroke width to white and change the stroke width to let's say 5 pixels okay so if you see this now you will get something like this and then you will get this kind of animation okay now we need a distance of 5 to 10 frames for each and every one so i'll go to around 10 frames select this and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here then go to 20 frames select this with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here 
and same procedure i follow for all of them so if you see this now you will get something like this one by one okay so uh, let's take a distance of 5 5 frames like this like this and like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff select all of them and enable the motion blur so if you see this animation we will get something like this now let's go somewhere around at this point select all of them press ctrl shift c and we are going to name it as circle like this now select this hit ctrl d press t for opacity and decrease the opacity and let's move this over here like this and then select our rectangle tool and we will create one mask on it like this okay select this circle hit ctrl d let's move this over here uh, select this point and this point and let's try to move this somewhere over here select this and try to move this over here okay select this hit ctrl d again let's move this over here select this point and this point and try to move this over here okay and let's move this over here okay now select all of them press t for opacity and let's increase the opacity again so if you see this now we will get something like this now i want them to be animated one by one so i'll take a distance of 5 5 frame for this one also so we will get something like this if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of stuff okay so this is one way now after that select uh, this stuff and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top and change the color of this one to red so we will understand that this ones are different right click new and create one null object select all the red compositions and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation and rotate it on minus 90 degree okay now select this circles hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top change the color of this one to yellow and select all the red ones over here and let's remove the parenting now select this null object and let's make this minus 180 again select all the circles which are in yellow hit ctrl d bring them at the top change the color of this one to aqua and change the all uh, select all the yellow ones and delete the parenting now select this null object and let's make it minus 270 and then we will delete this null object so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation okay now this is one way if you want you can select all of uh, over this over here you can adjust them one by one like this also like this and this one like this but it's totally up to you you have to play around with all of this stuff like this so hit control Z. i think this one looks good okay okay now select all of them press ctrl shift c again and then call it as full animation hit ctrl d press s and increase the scale a little bit go to the effect and presets and type find edge effect on it double click to apply and invert it okay and let's pre-select this and bring this at the backward so if you see you will get this extra stuff press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 20 over here okay and now go to 10 frames uh, i'll select this full animation and i'll move this over here so first we will get this animation and then we will get this animation now go inside this full animation over here as you guys can see we will have this stuff select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as red and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then type blue hit ctrl d let's type green hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as normal now select the fourth layer apply tint effect on it and let's apply 
instead of uh, let's say white i'm going to choose red so if you enable this you will get something like this select this blue one apply tint effect instead of white i'm going to choose blue color in on green instead of white i'm going to apply green color and then we will take a distance of 5 5 frames over here also like this or instead of that what you can do uh, let's select all of them and let's move them over here let's bring them normal at the back and now uh, i think uh, we need to take a distance of this frames only yep let's increase the distance a little bit oh yeah two two frames would be good select this normal hit ctrl d let's move this up to 10 frames and now this one over here which is normal over here apply find edge effect and invert it like this and after that select this normal in which find edge effect is applied hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top so if you see we will get this extra stuff over here we have to move this a little bit forward and press f4 and change the blending mode to screen okay and you can move this a little bit forward over here so if you see this animation now you will get this extra stuff and now in main animation if you see this animation as you guys can see we will get this kind of animation over here okay and because we have applied this blending modes over here we will get this stuff uh, over here so uh, to check it out we have to see okay this is caused by this one so what you can do because we need to create looping animation over here i'll select the second layer i'll press r for rotation create one keyframe let's go somewhere around five seconds and let's make this 90 so we will get this rotation in this direction let's select this first one press r create one keyframe go over here let's make this minus 90 so we will get this rotation in opposite direction and then at this point i'll press ctrl y to create one solid black background press let's move this over here press t for opacity let's make this opacity zero create one keyframe at this point i'll make this opacity 100 and hit n like this then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply glow effect on it and increase the glow radius to 100 increase the glow threshold to 100 and in decrease the glow radius to 0.3 okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of looping animation pattern inside of After Effects.